What's happening, everybody? It's God speaking to Astro Vibe. Jesus the Christ, little brother. My name is Pretty Face. I'm a mother. I sell everything for cat, and I got 27 businesses. What's up, everybody? It's Mr. Jangle. Dang. What's good? It's your boy, Dark Man. It's your boy, OTK, a.k.a. Big Squirrel, not the little one. Little, little, little. Welcome, welcome to the hunter, to the hunter. I know I'm for sure, for sure. Gonna be on Dark and Darker at 4 a.m. in the morning. The crazy part was God speaker was the second person to download it because I told him to download it, right? Oh yeah, I got this it. Nigga made, this nigga missed all the free play, it, right? You know who got on it before this nigga got on it? I got Dre on that motherfucker. We were just running lobbies. <laughs> Look at this man with this Caucasian finger. <laughs> got Look at the line. Caucasian. The lines ain't even got no type of African in it. <laughs> Fuck you talking about, nigga? African right there. The fuck, ain't no pink. The fuck wrong with you? Those don't look like sleeve hands to me. It is not pink. Boy, y'all see them caddises, boy? Yo, what the fuck? Feel like I've been playing mules and shit. The fuck? Fuck wrong with you? You legit just did that. <laughs> we saw you. We saw you take that lighter and put it in your finger to make it look like you been working. Oh, ain't, no, ain't no we fucking just way, boy. Ain't no way. We working just saw it. You ain't, you, know, you ain't had no lighter in your hands just now. Fuck yeah, but the dude that see, 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 they working see. ass, nigga. Get the fuck see. out of here. See, I told you. Living my life like golden. I am golden. Okay, so what we talk about today? What we talk about today? Now that you have Sean in here, so he could he could talk about that topic. Yeah, right. Because like, what, what what is it like what being it? black in the military? Bro, the military is nothing hard. It ain't. You know what I'm saying? It's still it's a little fuck. I mean, you got your little racism here now, but everybody mostly that shit is gangified. If we want to be honest. It's, no, everybody got the little clips. Everybody mixed in. Oh, all right. It's clicked up. Gotcha. You no, know, everybody got the little friends. I mean, got mixed in. Uh, you know, like I didn't have a hand. Well, I ain't gonna lie. I did have a uh, squad leader who, when I first got the. You know what I'm saying? Because I was the only black dude in my platoon when I first got the. And you niggas try to disrespect me. You know what I'm saying? But you know, like I said on previous podcast, it took for me to beat somebody ass that was twice my size for people to realize like I'm not. You know what I'm saying? I'm not just a pushover, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to take that shit, but, you know what I'm saying? Most units are like that. Most units are, it all depends, you know what I'm saying? But, I'm not going to lie. Hey, certain places, I mean, fair-skinned people get promoted, they get the awards, and the darker skin, you know, they they they, they got to actually earn it. Like, you got to do something super amazing. Unless you just really clicked in with them like that. See me, I'm clicked in with everybody because you know I don't let nobody want my problems for me. So it's like, it's like that everywhere. Then. I mean, pretty much it it's is. like that. Yeah, it's like it's just the same shit, you know. But like, like their favorite, their favorite saying is, "Uh, oh, you think you're back on the block, huh?" I'm like, yeah, hey, yeah, we gonna turn this shit to my block. What the fuck's my body change for y'all? That's that's so what I do have to say. Yeah, that they just they that's the thing that I tell you. That's actually a saying in the moon call. You think she's back on the block, huh? Hmm. But like, um, what I wanted to say was, uh, but some of them be saying it's a joke because it's a saying, but some of them be actually serious. You know what I'm saying? And like, what they mean is, you know, you think you're back in the hood. In the hood, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. But see me, see me. I don't. You know what I'm saying? I don't do all that extra shit, bro. Shit. I I I don't I I'm gonna tell you this. I don't suck dick for nobody. You know what I'm saying? I don't suck nobody dick for nothing. No promotions, no nothing. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But you know when to be cordial when is your time. You know what I'm saying? Right. <clears throat> Not everything right. gotta right. be about like nigga, you know what I'm saying? Not everything gotta be you know what I'm saying, I'm not about to take this shit. You know, sometimes you have to like you, you gotta be it's best for you to be cordial, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> And you know you just gotta pick and choose your battle for real. So, I, I'm gonna bring this up because I am light skinned But like, so you feel like light skins, or is it is it a common belief 
Oh, you could damn near see it. The light skins get pushed. Nah, ahead, bro. It's all it. about. It's all about how you act. It's all about how you act. If you act like yeah. one of the, you, you you more in touch with your black side than your other side, then they're gonna treat you like you on the black side. But if you you know, yeah, I'm country music listening motherfucker type shit. I, you know, but you know what? I like that explanation. That makes sense. Jeans, with your straight leg jeans, and they're gonna treat you like that. So it all it all depends on what side of the fence you play on. Got you, got you. So yeah, that, I guess that makes sense. That makes sense. All so, the so have have you dealt with any racism lately? Any of y'all? Have anybody dealt with any racism lately? No, haven't in a while. Pretty face, stop. No, not really. Nah, see, uh, the thing about it is with me, people going to automatically judge me. Both sides of the field going to judge me until I start talking. When I start talking, then they're just like, okay, you know, he's not You're smart. Mm -hmm. So I don't really. Yeah, that's how it is with me too. I don't really get too many racist people and then like for some odd reason like especially when i go home for my girl everybody look at me because the because of my facial expression i don't never be walking around smiling or something i just automatically look like i'm just mad at the world so walking into like crowded areas or crowded spaces people be like oh no let's not bump him they will actually move out the way for me thank you both it's yeah, right. <laughs> no, he has, but he have that look though. He he's always had that look since he, I met him. He, he, part, he like part in the little red sea. It's just been like that for years. So like if I'm walking, let If I'm walking down Canal or something, and I got like some friends with me that don't look like you know that don't fit that description, they will walk behind me. What description? Like that. That just Dude. look like you pissed off at the world, and just look like you gonna do something. Yeah. Me the I got head. that look. I got that look too. I'm always booted I, up, and they be like, "What's wrong?" And I be so like, they "Nothing." Will, they will legit walk I'm behind right. me because everybody. And when I walk, I make eye contact with the people that's in front of me, like the people so, that's walking towards me or something. So, so dog man, you me. like you like me? You the guy that is the lead on Bourbon Street during mm -hmm. Mardi Gras? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I just look mean as hell. And everybody just, like, just no, I get, I get what you're saying. No, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Like, God, like, <clears throat> excuse me, like right now coming up for Mardi Gras, if we went down, like say I had people in towns, like, because I don't go down to Bourbon. That's not like a thing I do. But if they got in, I'm pretty sure you really don't. Because like people that that's from here don't really go to Bourbon unless like you hustle some type of, you know, drugs or you, know, you, know, you hustle people. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like us as adults, like, are you, are you young? You know what I'm saying? You, you, you high school, you college, you're in town for college. Like that's that's the scene for them. OK, because it's just it is what it is but being a native of this city we don't really go down there so like when we bring people down they'll be like oh come on hold my shoulder uh look grab yeah, my like shirt grab the back of my shirt or something yeah because nigga about to we're about and to I'm get through here through. yes <laughs> right so i i get what you're saying i just kind of wanted to see if that's exactly the description that you meant when you said you know um they fit that description like that yeah, description look, I, I don't want to stereotype myself but i just look like i'm going to do you something if you bump me and i don't be meaning to i don't be meaning to give off that look it's just my natural look like my natural face is just like i'm mad at the whole world I, I, I sometimes you know they say you can't blame certain things but it's like i went to a school where um when we were in the band we had to have I went to St. Augustine or St. Aug, you hear me? Or St. Augustine. But um when we went to school no, 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 no. No. you had to have like this booting no. them out. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how all they wanted school. you to look. Yeah, right. All boys school. Yeah, say, oh, boy, I know so. yeah, so like like but but listen Okay, Since we're yeah. talking about black history, nah, yeah, it was an all boys school for black males in the city of New Orleans that was thought that you know that started with the um, by the Josephite priest, okay, for for black men. Purple, purple and gold. Purple and yellow. Purple and gold. Purple no, and gold. Make, I, I had to make sure we used all the same. I, 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 I mean, son, you from West Wego? Stop. 
<laughs> so anyways like i was saying all right this school was you know in and like it's a historic school for us here in the city but when we in the band you know the marching 100 you couldn't you didn't you couldn't smile there wasn't no like they didn't want us walking around on happy time that's that wasn't the look we gave off you know our, our chest had to be out you know what i'm saying back straight stomach in and that's that's the way it was at all times if your mom stopped to say hey hey sugar hey baby you can't look at your mom she's not your mom right now the band is your yeah, mom like the band is camp. the band was everything the band was your mom the band was your dad the band was jesus the band was everything that's what we were taught it was the band and that was it nothing else existed at that time but the band and like it was really explained to us like that and so walking around just like all the time there's no there's no it's like you drain all expression off your face there's no fucking expression it looks like a mug but it's just like you showing no emotion there's nothing there but to other people it looks like would you say Tony like you know I just fuck you up if you bump me the wrong way you know what I'm saying like I'm mad at the world and it's not that you're mad at the world you know, sometimes, you know, your face might have burrowed up because, you know, you possibly was mad at the world because shit happens and, you know, everybody goes through that level of shit. It just so happens black people go through a different level of shit when they going through shit because it's, it's, it's shit stacked on top of shit on top of shit that's but going on already. Is, I could be happy as hell, but if it I'm still just look like down, that, I just be looking like, bitch, I'll beat you up if you look at me the wrong way. And what makes it even worse is when I'm walking through a crowd, like I said, I make eye contact with the people that's walking towards me. So as you just got this nigga that's looking pissed off, mad at the world, and he make eye contact with you. Now you don't want to look at me no more. You like, oh, nah, let's move out of the way of this nigga. All right, now wait, now wait, listen, but listen, when you look, when you look into, we're going we're gonna to just keep it blunt today. I don't got time for a certain pampering so when you look into a white person's eyes you know they got the blue they got the hazel they got the the golden no, brown wait, wait. Before, you, before you say before you say when i look into white people eyes, i look into everybody's eyes it don't matter if true white not or but no but no but we about to, but we about to get to the point let's get to the point when you look into their eyes you can damn near see you know the dilation in their eyes especially if they got that certain hue of eye color right but when you look into, you know, and it's not all black people, but it's most of them. When you look into their eyes, what do you see? Do you, do you, see, is, do you see the brown or do you see this black fucking hole in the middle of a, of, of a white eye? Get where I'm going people, with this. When I stare into people's eyes, I don't, I, all I see is them just, the, the, the look in their eyes, the fear of they just like, nah, let me just move. What you quick. mean you look, I, listen, what I'm saying is though, like you look into, like when you look into, and I'm only, I'm not even going to say black on this point. You look at the general you, eye or you, do I just stare deep into your soul? No, because that's, that's shit. I, if I don't look, I don't look at people in their eye unless like, unless I have to. Or unless I'm moving in a certain way where I'm blocked off. And I'm not really going to get into all that shit right now because that ain't this type of podcast. But I will I will close myself off, I guess, if I have to look at you in the eye and I'm not really fucking with you like that. So you don't see me, but I'm I'm staring. So, But I have, I have hazel eyes. I have color in my eyes. So my point of what I'm trying to make is, like, yeah, there's color in yours, but the brown... That brown is so deep and so like, you know what I'm saying, passionate and embedded in your fucking head, all right, surrounded by more brown or black, that motherfucker, and then your face is frowned, you look like you're mad at the world, it's like looking into a black hole. So there's there's nothing there, there's emptiness to, to another person looking at you the way you say you look. Of course I'm gonna move the fuck mm. out the way. You get what I'm saying to you? Like, I'm looking at like... Like this nigga looks deranged. What's wrong? You get what I'm saying to you? I'm trying to give you yes. the visual yeah, of what these fucking people that. probably see walking towards your but, ass. Yeah, but That's I don't be meaning. You. I don't even be meaning to look like that. I even you have just like natural. fucking video game. But yeah, yeah, yeah but it's just, I, I even had some people just naturally look like that. And this girl had asked me. She was just like, "Why you look so mad at the world?" She was just like, "You good? Yeah, I'm chill." 
like, why you just look so mad at the world? I said, that's just my natural facial expression. She said, make your smile or something. Make yourself more approachable. I said, for what? I don't want nobody to come approach me. I don't want nobody to come talk to me. But wait, but did you smile? But did you smile when she said smile? No. I smirked. Okay, so I've I've had that happen, and somebody said, "What was wrong? What, why you look mad at the world? You should smile." I smiled and said, "Now nah, that's okay." <laughs> nah, I, I gave like that that little like Mowgli of Jungle Book. I gave that half a smirk. <laughs> no, nah, I give I give a full smile, nigga. <laughs> you want to uh, see a smile, I'm gonna show you. You get that. You get that. You get that. That I'm not putting for no effort into the smile. And then it was like, cause you just look mean. You just look like if I bump you, you gonna catch me on one of the side streets, and you gonna do me something. Pretty sure like, probably can tell you my smiles look psychotic. You you probably rather me not smile. If I'm smiling, I'm probably going I'm probably got it on my mind. Like I'm not one of the people that has to be, and I don't really want to talk about that here. But like I, I don't have to be. For that time, I mean, mad to do you something. On your mind. Yeah, I don't so have that, to. That, 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 you you used to, you know don't say yeah and no. So that time I made you smile, you had it on your mind, bro. What, you doing? what time you made me smile? I don't like the way this is going. I don't like this conversation. You remember that day? I see you look right now. Look, you see? So now it's on your mind. Like Come through the carriage. Like Come through the carriage. Smiling now. He's smiling now. <laughs> see, we can't trust him. I knew it. Sometimes it be your friends you can't trust. Hey, dude, hey, you oh, know, it's a funny thing you bring that up because I wanted to say that. That's, that's fucking sad, though, because Dirk said in one of his songs I was listening to yesterday, he said, in this game, it's your partners you gotta watch, and that's the beautiful thing of it. I said, "What the fuck?" It's your partners you gotta watch, and that's the beautiful thing of the game. How? Ah, how did that even make sense? It didn't, but but no, it the, does. The, 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 it no, be it your friends you have sense. to watch. Nah, it, it be your friends you have to watch. Nah, saying it's the beautiful thing of it. It's that, not a beautiful thing. That part I don't get. That part I, that's that's the part saying, I don't get. Oh, most okay, of the time, yeah. you do have to watch the company. Like, you got to sit every now and then, every few months, you got to sit back and evaluate the company you keep. You got to sit there and think about situations that you was in. Or you got to think about times you was in. Wait, shit just didn't seem right to you. Or shit, uh, 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 your friends moved a little sketchy. Uh, your friends ain't had your back like you had theirs. You got to do that every few months to sit back to make sure your friends are still your friends because eventually they are going to show signs. They are going to decide to show up for work. What up, Jangle? What's what up, Drake? But sometimes your friends are going to show signs and you're just going to look over them. So taking every few months sitting back and reevaluate your friends. That's a good thing. That's something everybody should do. Cause your friends ain't gonna just start showing the the, the the bitch shit they do. They ain't gonna just start showing, you know, they fake and shit out the blue. No, they gonna start showing little small signs until it gets real big in this out in public. Like fuck you. No, you'll see little signs first. I, I'm a, as a as a friend, <clears throat> and I, I hope people, you know, y'all can call me that. Like. I'm, I'm, I've seen other people's friendships And it was like you know I'm not that type of friend So I hope people don't look for that for me As in hey I'm gonna call you every day Or you know I'm, I'm gonna hit you up on Facebook Every time you post something Or you don't have to do that. Uh, Yeah cause that's I, I'm that's, Yeah that's I, I, I'm not that type of friend but, Because when, when we became friends We knew what type of person you is We know we can't call you You know it's not an everyday Hey, look, man, you all right? I seen your post. You good every day, every post? No, but when it matters, you gonna show up when it matters. Right, exactly. We can you when it matters. Is, is that that's what it's supposed to be? Yeah. Speaking of that, I like I have friends that uh I haven't talked to in like maybe five or six months, but when a serious moment happens or something occurs, I'm always there from from the beginning of that all the way to the end and, and i just push through just like they got some people there for me you know what me, uh, you both yeah, yeah so the thing about it is whenever you first meet these people and you decide to make them your friend or call them a friend well i don't do that you know yeah so i mean even so even an associate or acquaintance you know 
you pretty much if you real with yourself you be honest you know you let them know how it is from the get-go they should understand like hey you know i got some stuff that's going with me i might not be able to hit you up every day or hey i'm i'm probably busy all the time you know but if you want to go hang out or something like that we should do that but me personally i'm not that type of person that will just message my friends every day i'm not like every now and again i'll randomly pop up you know i'm that i'm that one friend that would drive an hour to go see my friend almost every day you know i'm that friend you know they got some people that wouldn't even drive that same hour to come visit you you know so you just gotta you gotta pick your people and you gotta like evaluate your people and i mean and like and like tony said you know um further down the line you know they might show their red flags you know further down the line but it's it's your job to like notice that like you know that see who real separate the real from the fake but just like he just said he would drive an hour to go see some people he'll he'll drive an hour to go see his friends but then you got to sit there and think about it you constantly driving this hour to go see your friends when the fuck they gonna drive this hour man i was about to ask the same funny question now, now you're gonna start seeing it in your head you're gonna be like let me set like little let me set like little traps to see something that's what i would let do let me see if they'll do the same thing for me so let me set a little trap to be like hey yo you know what you doing this weekend you know you should come we should go do this we should go do this down here by me no right. problem. Yeah, and if they be like, if they be like, oh, that's a fault drive, you now you got it in your head, motherfucker. I didn't took this drive multiple times just to come check on you or just to come kick it with you, and you can't take this drive one time for me. So now that's a red flag in my head. So now but I'm wait, like, before before we continue though, on, on to that, like some people will say, well, if you my friend, you wouldn't have never set a trap like that to to, to set me up. You you I you mean, know no, blah blah make up an know, excuse or no, some no, shit. You don't say oh I set this trap. You don't just be like oh yeah I set this trap. Some, you don't you say don't that, but no. Say something like that, they gonna be like you know that's a far drive, and then you did it. You be like oh uh, yeah all right. then you did it. You don't be like oh yeah you know that's fucked up. I did this. I never turn around and say well I did this multiple times, and you can't do that because that's something I'm gonna say to myself. That's something I'm gonna yeah. say to myself after I get off the phone with you or like after we stop talking. I'm gonna be like damn. So I could, I'm, I could, I could take this drive. You know, you good enough for me to take this hour drive, hour and a half drive out there, multiple times. But damn, you can't do this. I'm not good enough for you to take this drive one time. See, now here's the thing. Some people be like, well, yeah, man, you my friend, you know, but don't mean I'm your friend as much as you are my friend. You see what I mean? And that's yeah, the thing people like that. So I. It's, they still got people that will say like with Tony, how you said. Uh, you know, I wouldn't say, you know, hey, I did this for you, you know what I'm saying? But there are people out there that say, you know, uh, well, damn, dog, you know what I'm saying? Well, it just be like, well, damn, dog, I came up there a couple of fucking times, nigga, you can't come down there one time for me? You know, we just actually say it out loud to them. It don't mean that, you know what I'm saying, you, like, actually addressing it for a conversation to happen, but just to throw it out there. And then, you know, when would dead it then or leave it alone after that or continue because there's females that go through this too and you know not all females are saying some shit to themselves and then dead and then getting off the phone i said not all wasn't talking See, about I, you little brother like, like, back in my younger days I, i'd be like damn well, i could do this for you but you can't do that for me I yeah i was gonna say that. That. <laughs> in my younger days i'm just like you know what that's just time for me to cut you off because apparently I go a hundred behind you, and you not turn around and giving me that same type of energy. I see. If you think about it, that that's is that's kind of exactly like like you'll go a hundred behind them, just like you just said, right? But that's like if they they got some some people or the little crew they with, and they, you they allowing people to talk about you behind your back. You see what I mean? Yeah, I feel you on that. Or they you or they know you're not scary. And they try to utilize you in every situation. No, we're not doing that. Popcorn. Yeah. Like, I'm glad get, you brought you that up. Get beat, you might have to get beat up, my girl. No, because I'm, I'm really... No, I got jumped. I jumped up in somebody. Oh, no. No, no, no. no, no and you know the crazy thing? They got people that always want you to fight their battles, right? 
and I'm but they the one that up to but, but they the one that's always starting. They starting it and then try to go to you because you know they got their back. So you won't when you get out there, you won't start swinging because that's your partner. No, you're not gonna keep putting me in situations. So I've learned to be like this. If it really honestly and truly don't have anything to do with me, I ain't swinging. I'm telling you, that, that don't got nothing to do with me. You gonna have to handle it because you're not gonna have me in all the fights. See, and you this, be standing this, there. Just like, just like a person you know who I'm talking about, popcorn. This person was scary, but every time somebody would tell him something or somebody would pick on him, because they'll just pick on him. I mean, there was times where he didn't even do nothing. People just pick on him just because he's short. And I was always that rescue man. I was always that rescue man. Like, nah, you ain't gonna fight him. You gonna fight me? And then that's when niggas be like, oh, nah, I ain't fighting him. I'm not. You good on that? You gotta walk off on that. Then it gets to a point where, like, you call me your friend or whatever, but you only calling me when you need to go out because you know I'm just like security. I'm the one, you know, I'm the one carrying, you know, I'm the one got everything. So it's like you just like using me for security, basically. And then it became to a point where, all right, you calling me your best friend or whatever, but my baby shower told him about the baby shower, everything. You gonna turn around and tell me you coming to Houston to kick it with another nigga that I was supposed to beat up over a situation that happened with you. I was about to fight him and his cousin over a situation that happened with you. You mean to tell me you coming to Houston to kick it with him at a fucking Bow Wow Bash, but you couldn't come to my baby shop? A what? You, you go kick it at a little pool party. You taking pictures with Bow Wow. What like nigga? You could make, but you could <laughs> but, but, but you couldn't make it to my baby shower, my boy. So I ain't talked to I ain't talked to the nigga since. I ain't talked to the nigga That's since. Crazy. You just randomly hit me up and like, oh yeah, I'm coming to Houston. Okay, cool. You ain't coming to my crib because you couldn't come to my baby shower. Nah, at least the two couldn't. times I was coming to Houston, you had to work. Yeah, I made sure. I was like, I'm not in Texas. But that nigga like these like. It's crazy because you try to hit me. He tried to hit me up, so you ain't gotta pay for a hotel to try to stay in my crib. But no, nigga, this is not finna happen. You couldn't show up to something so like something that was so simple. You couldn't plan your off days around. That was, simple, that was, very, that was very important. No, that used to, but, but I'm saying you couldn't true. plan your off days of making it around to a situation like that. But you planned your off days to go kick it. Like you, you went go kick it with a nigga. That's faking it until you make it, first of all. And then the nigga that's ain't got your back for nothing because he was scared of me to begin with. Like, that's wild. How you kick it with a nigga I'm finna I'll beat up you. at the lakefront because of you and you go and kick it with this man? Do I know that person? Do you know who? You probably, you know both of them. I feel like, you know, because, you know, the person that you're talking about, they came bought drinks from me last year and he was with another person. I was just trying to see if that was that person that you was about to beat up. Mm. No, it, it wasn't. Man, it wasn't. This man's only always trying to beat up everybody, so it could be anyone. Nah, I, I just, I yeah, just yeah, say no, me, 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 no, me and him in the same boat. Like when it comes I, to like we up, beat you up, we up, beat you up. Like that's why I, I say like, names. I'm his best friend. I say names. No, you, know, no. you know the first person I'm talking about. You know I don't give a fuck. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 know, I know exactly who you're talking. Like to. you can't beat me up. So yeah. it's like what you say, big GI Joe and GI Jane. Let me take my fucking go. Oh, you right. just, I know the first person who you. I know who you're talking about. The other one is Darius. The, the other one who, is Darius. Is he kind of like brown skin, kind of like chubby? Yes. Okay, so yeah, that one did buy a drink for me for not talk. That's why I asked if that was the person because I took a picture of them. Yes. Because I'm, I'm cool with John. John hit me up the other day. John was like, look, because uh, John throw game nights. And his friends. I just did more- his podcast. Pack, uh, shit, I just did his podcast. Just say for highlighting black businesses. I literally just do, but just did that yesterday. Yeah, see, John throw game nights, and John was like, yes. "Yo, he was like, yo, the last game night you came to, all of my friends, because he got, you know, he got friends of different uh, backgrounds, different cultures, and all yes. that, all in one room. So he was like, hey, yo, my friends been asking about you." They was asking when you know when you gonna come to another game night, cause they was like your vibe, your energy, you was cool as hell for the game night. 
And I was just like, whenever you throw a game, like you just gotta let me know in advance, cause you know I'm in a whole different state now, so you gotta let me know in advance. He was just like, cool. See, I still rock with John, cause John yeah, don't do uh, sides. John don't do, he, you know, he cool. He's very neutral. He's neutral. Yeah. Uh, he's been like that since I met him. Um, he actually got some drinks for me for a game night, and they were like, "Where's the person who made the drinks?" Cause it was good. They wanted me one, so he be trying to invite me to stuff, but should not be having stuff going on yet. John. It's definitely uh, a very neutral person. He's not that type of person. He does not like mess. That's just not him. Um, as far as the other two people, I don't know. The other person, you know, he just bought a drink and his money. That situation, um, I'm going to call it the power and Sierra, Sierra situation because of the hype. Um, that messed my head up because I never thought I'd seize a day with that. But again, things happen. People go, you know, they're separate. Ways I also feel like you should not utilize a person because you know they're about the like because see me, you went get my friend wrong. I'm gonna jump stupid, but you're not gonna keep having me in these situations because you're scary or you not like that or try to live like you like that, knowing that you're gonna have backup. See, because everybody know I don't really give a shit. I don't if it's up there, it's up there. I don't really care what it is. Don't care what the situation is. If you got a problem with this person, I'm going to go with you to make sure it doesn't happen to you. Right. Okay. Right. That's me. That's, that, that's, that's just always me and you. Okay. Yeah. Like, remember that time? It was a long, long time ago. I got it. So it was somebody. You remember? We always used to go to Bourbon on the same night, and we never knew that we would be on Bourbon. Yeah. We were like, always yeah, in the cell. I was like, no, wait. No, you was like, no, I don't care what you talking about. You got back that way. Which way? <laughs> Which way he was, Papa? Like, that's just me and you, because you know. Uh, cap, 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 cap. Before you know it, I can jump in and hit the ball. So, you know, it, it just doesn't go well with me and you. So, it's just best that we don't be in situations. Cap, video didn't happen. Video didn't happen. What? Oh, it happened. It happened. Cap, I'll be texting each other. Oh, I'm about to do it. Anybody? Nah, 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 nah. No, and seriously. No, over, seriously. I don't never let nobody know my move when I'm actually it, it, going on. Somebody talking about like days of the week or just like for holidays. I remember one Halloween, we do one bourbon together too. You let me know. But I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the last couple of times I went yeah, on bourbon. You let me know too, man. I've been on bourbon with you one time, fool. One time. <laughs> oh, you talking about when he was outside the club and couldn't give you in? Yeah. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> you was here from my side of the club. Nah, nah, I did get in, bro. I did get in. Nah, <laughs> yeah, nah, cause I went eighteen years. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 and that was the only time I've been over <laughs> with this man. For real, Drake. Drake gave me the most embarrassing moment on bourbon. I mean, I'll, I'll give you oh, every embarrassing God. moment. You know, not, me the most embarrassing no, moment I, I ever had. You know, not to take me out on New Year's. Every New to, Year's, I that wasn't that visual. wasn't even when you embarrassed me. You embarrassed me for your birthday. <laughs> that too. We we'll talk about when I when I was I was on escalator. Oh, I'm sorry, I was on the escalator going up, passed out. Yeah, in the pool and stuff. Yeah, I know. Yeah, and when you threw up at the table at uh, Crystal's. <laughs> hey, we should not speak about that. <laughs> hey, we is gonna talk about this because that we man. Not, we're not about this. We're not about this. No, you shouldn't have let me get like that. Our day started off great. I got a popcorn. Did an embarrassing day too, <laughs> but it was oh, my birthday too. Jeez. Yeah, okay, for my birthday, I'll be loose. You, you. <laughs> hey, I tell him every time. When I throw up on the boy head, bro. When I throw up on the boy head. She threw up on the ball head, bro. It was that's just... Bud's cousin. That was Bud, that's Bud's cousin. <laughs> he was to pick her up. I was up, so told up. She was done. <laughs> he was to pick her up, and all of a sudden, I'm looking, and all I see is, ooh, I said... Oh no, oh. dude! The crazy part about it, dude had a bald head. I was like, no, I see the drool and I see the drool and puke rolling down this man bald head. I was just like, bro, that was my twenty first birthday. You know, I just had a baby when I was twenty, so for my twenty first birthday, I decided to have a, I had decided to have two parties, and they were back to back. Like the party was like a Friday and a Saturday, so I had a party. 
that Friday. And I, I remember saying, I'm going to be more torn than I am today, tomorrow. But I didn't really think I'd do that. So then I had like 15, you did it, 15 right. people in the section. <laughs> I remember having 15 people in the section. And I was like, why y'all not drinking y'all drinks? And they say I literally went around the section and, and drunk. Everybody drank and just kept drinking and kept drinking. Everything they, they told me that I did after, I only know because that's what they so when Chloe Poirin was like, son, we set you outside on the ground against the wall. And next thing you know, your head went forward. Because I woke up, I was like, was my head bleeding last night? They was like, yes, your head hit the ground because we set you up and you decided to just fall over while you, you on the ground. I was like, I was that so up? They was like, yeah, because you dropped on my head and everything. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> they said they tried to, Lamar was like, we tried to open up up your house and try to get the key in the door because we was carrying you because you couldn't walk. I was like, jeez. I was fucked up. Oh, wow. I don't get like that no more, though. <laughs> so you is white girl drunk. Oh, I was. That was my 21st birthday. I had, ooh. Nah, two drunk embarrassing stories of Drake. But I'm going to save it. I don't know if he want me to just talk about it right oh, now. No, no, because um... <laughs> <laughs> Man, that dude right, right. like uh, um. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe maybe when we have like a, a big group together. All right. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure most of the viewers probably see me. <laughs> Do y'all know when Black History Month first began? <laughs> 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 because that nigga was like, he was like, um, oh. <laughs> he was so scared. <laughs> I mean, it's not that, it's not that I was scared. It's no, you scared. No, you don't want, you don't want nobody hear that. You, because no, 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 like, I was, I would still, I would still have to explain the situation. You know, and explain how I was feeling at the time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I ain't gonna lie. One of the funny situations I kind of set him up for. No, so, so I'm just saying. His birthday situation, I set him up for. Whenever I touch my face, I'm done. And if you set me drink after that, whatever I do after that, if you touch, I, I, if you I touch your face, if yeah, 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 face. he started sweating. He always started sweating. But let me tell you what he started sweating off of. Let me tell you what he started sweating off of. Let me tell you what he started sweating off of. Y'all know this particular this particular drink. MD twenty twenty. No, it feels like it's like. Oh. It's like I'm about to tell you what it is. No, I'm about to tell you what it is. When you go in the city, everybody just like hanging hand name, hand grenade. Yes. But then there's those fishbowl people. <laughs> oh, yes. The yeah, fuck I right. feel yes. like it is never going to end. Yes, I, love a fishbowl. And I drunk the whole thing. Oh, I like to buy them and then go back out there and refill for five hours. No. Wait. You you know what drink it was after I had the fish? Bowl? I like the horny gator. It was, it was the uh. It was Nobody the ever talks drink. about the fucking yeah, horny it, it gator. Was, it was the the oh, blue the star? drink. It yeah, was like a jalapeno blue in it. With like a jalapeno in it. Yeah. Bitch, you was fucked up. Yes, I drank that whole thing too. That was See, tequila. I had, I had three <laughs> hangers and then I had that skull. But I'm used to drinking. He not used to it. So after that fishbowl and I saw his head sweating, I'm like, man, let me get him one more drink. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, bro. The drink ain't coming on day nights if he ain't used to drink it. Siri, <laughs> Listen, that, which which part of his head begins to sweat? Bro, the, the very top. Is it the, you know, <laughs> That's all I wanted to do. I knew you was going to say the very fucking the top. The very top is. <laughs> Not the forehead, you, you the crown. The I'm dripping down and shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know you ain't. I know it. That that day was that whole day was just funny. It was just the funniest day I ever had. It was the that. Fun and funniest all in one. I'm telling you this, I sweat from the part I try to think the most from. Wait, what? He said he sweat from the part he tried to think the most from. <laughs> That's what I thought he said. That night was just bruh. That night was So you were sweating with your thoughts. That too. 
If I could relive that night, bro, I'll do it again over and over. Because that night was <laughs> It's never a dull moment with Jangle, man. <laughs> Last week, it was the bidet. <laughs> this week, he swept the stars. It's, it's when you go out with him. That's why I like going out. That's why I love. I like going out with my cousin. Because you, when I you go out, it's just fun. fun. Y'all gonna have fun. I have fun. to go out to. Y'all gonna have fun. Free spirit. He don't oh, what nobody we, think. We need to do a bourbon night. You, you said a bourbon hey, night or a bourbon I'm night? A, a bourbon. I don't know if I want to go on bourbon with you niggas. We're doing karaoke for me. Why not? Let me what tell you mean? You first off, talking. first off, we got we got Tony that fits that description. All right. Then, <laughs> then you got you. Hold on, hold on. Then you got you that you gotta watch because you might go here first. And then we got Django that if he starts sweating from, from the part he thinks the most with, we in trouble. And then there's me, all right? I'm if I see y'all looking like y'all really ready for some shit, I'm not gonna drink. Cause I'm I'm gonna if I drink, I'm gonna pop off faster than all y'all. I'd rather be sober. Let's try this again. No, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. I am. I'm, I'm that. I'm that. No, you nah, won't you even see. Dre, Dre. You won't. I'm you don't, I don't have to ask Dre. I I'm know telling you. Know me and I know you. I'm It'll telling you. You won't. It I'm probably will be because you won't listen. I'm gonna be the one that. All right, listen. Everybody know me. I fucking run my mouth. I talk. But hey, when I'm so. You, but you, when, but listen. I, no, but that's what I'm trying to tell you. When I'm sober. I, I'm like I'm gonna be quiet But I'm gonna be enjoying myself Cause I'm like But I'm still watching Cause y'all too fucked up For me to be fucked up with y'all Cause we going to jail And I don't wanna go to jail I didn't come out to go to jail So But if I get fucked up with y'all I, I know I gotta I don't never be too fucked up to function Cause I know I gotta No yeah I'm never Listen I remember night, everything I gotta carry this nigga to the car Yeah right, I remember so I'm I'm jail, No that ain't that, even it I remember everything I remember everything. that one time That I got arrested And then I got, got arrested right behind I got, you. Yeah, I got arrested before all of them. I go to jail. I see them sitting in jail before me. They took you the they took wow. you the long way. That's all. Listen, all I'm saying is though, I'm it, when, when I'm fucking drunk is when I get quiet when I'm drunk because now I'm about to I'm gonna be the most quiet. I don't know who gonna be arguing, but yeah, I don't do don't much argue. I don't do no arguing. I don't, I don't do arguing. <laughs> I don't see, do no that, talking. See, we don't go out for that. See, when we when we go, out, I don't like, either. When we, and go out, we go out, we have fun, and people gravitate nah. towards us and have fun with us. It depends on where we, we going. Oh, no, nah, it's just, no. that's just me and him. We never, we oh, no. never got drunk and then had to fight somebody. I oh, had, no, listen, listen. I, so I don't just, I don't just go out of so many issues. I just, yeah. So popcorn, we got to eat Josh, we got him at home, so we don't need no buzz kill. No, I ain't no. Hold on, fuck, fuck all that. I'm the life of the party when I am out there. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I don't. He like. I'm his. I'm his. Oh, you don't dance. Like you know how. I know. No, yeah. I've been. I've been knowing this man. Trust me, I know he know. He was staying there like he's security. No, I won't even stand there. You won't see me. Like she'll be on the fucking dance floor, nigga. You will not see me. He'll be sitting down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, you might not even fucking see me sit down. You will not see me. I'm well, literally you, gonna you be. Uh, a uh, no, but <laughs> you're not gonna see me because I'm gonna be chill. I'm gonna be in my zone. I'm gonna be straight. I just, I'm, I don't. I'm too much shit to happen. I don't. All right, so I'm the complete opposite of you. I'm the type of person that want to uh, uh like a onesie inside the club and dance. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. My nigga, <laughs> <laughs> like he like he's that. I'm with person. you. You got so that. When I'm with him. Come on, you got that. We're having fun. We, 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 we joking, like especially when I'm with him. We ain't got nothing to worry about because we just laughing. But I know in the back of my mind, I know I gotta pay attention to what he do because this man get drunk and he. Be extra friendly as hell. Oh, no. He already cool. Nah, I, I, I got. I like the tip when I'm drunk. You gotta get, listen. You gotta get. You gotta get me. All right. In order for us to have fun when we go out, 
This has always been a rule. You have to get me fucked up before we go out. Cause if I go out sober, when I'm not gonna I'm I'm really gonna be like that. Like he said, no, niggas gonna be like a ninja. Anyway. You're not Everybody gonna see me. We leave oh, anyway. I, yeah, got, I, got, I got this game. I got this game that I play when I go to the bar. I go get a shit ton of ones, right? Uh-huh. And every time the 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 bar person, whatever whoever it is, with the bartender goes back and come to me, I gotta give him a dollar. Bro, I have a stack of money. And if I got fives and I run out of ones, I start using fives. Then I moved up to 20s. I said, no, I can't do that. No. Let me tell you this man problem. Let me tell you. Let me do it, but night. he said, no, I can't no, do no. it. Why are you doing it? You, this no. was that night. This dude walked up to the bar. He said, cuz, what you drinking? So I told him. And then he ordered him a drink. And then the next three people next to him, he said, Yeah, I got theirs too. Like, no, yeah, you friendly, friendly, no. nigga. No. Like, no, I ain't no, no nigga. No, put the down, Jordan. Bro, I went to the point. I went to the point. I said, I said I'm good. buying everybody drinks. No, fuck no. No, no so when I. Was a they, them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when I would go out, it wouldn't be like that. Right? So there was times like I used to. So. Let's just be transparent here. So I was on like Somali and shit, and like we in the club, and my fucking uh, my teeth. I had I would I needed something to chew on, and uh, anytime I would go out, I'm I'm probably on ecstasy or uh, Miley or uh, I'm really fucking drunk. Yeah, not no more. That was like before. Like that's what I'm telling you, I don't go out because I used to do a lot of shit, and um. Yeah, but I used to do a lot of shit when I would go out too. Like, so when I'm out there, like, I was one of them guys. I was hustling, but I wasn't selling drugs. Like, my thing was people, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'd have females with me and they'll probably be dancing with you and hugging you and we'll be talking and I'll be buying you drinks the whole night and you, you'll be like, man, y'all so fucking cool. But the whole time I've been buying you drinks has been with your money. Okay. (laughs) So. Cause they had been giving me a wallet like a long time ago. You, you over there feeling on them and they feeling on you. And I'm buying you Thank drinks you and I'm buying me drinks too. And we <laughs> fucked up, phone. but That's but nah, but like, but like nah. I used to go. We used to dance and shit like that. People used to come from out of town and be like, "Hey man, what the fuck man, what y'all doing?" And be like, "Dre, you want to fucking drink with us?" We're like, "Fucking right, man." I just bought forty eight shots, man. And and these are black people. These ain't fucking white people. These fucking black people that's successful. They came from out of town. They fucking enjoy Mardi Gras and they just want you to fucking come drink with them. And dog, it it only it's only like three or four of them. But they done bought drinks like it's ten of them. So like we getting fucked up with them like that's that that was like the levels of fun I fucking yeah I fucking right I used to have I used to dance and stand in the middle of a fucking dance floor like I was the only one there and now I'm like the nigga sitting in the corner. So it, it, it pretty much looking stupid. Where anytime I went out to Burger right because I give you a, a dollar for a stick of gum. Yeah, I, I would I would have people gravitate towards me. And if I go to a club, we all go in the club and we start like this big old train. I mean, that's what I got arrested for because they thought I was just on New Year's. No, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, Where? They me for Where? No. Where? Where? Where did this happen? <laughs> uh, in New Orleans? Yeah. Yes. How? Yeah, so that's that's the reason why I got, I got arrested. But I hate to I mean, ask this question, but were they white? Yes, yes, had to be, had to fucking be. How? How in New Orleans on New Year's or New Year's Eve you get fucking arrested for for being a fucking partier? How? The, the no. only place I go to, the only the only alcoholic place I go to that y'all gotta just monitor me at is Murphy's. <laughs> why? Like, why? Why? In Murphy's, in Murphy's. They are so cool in Murphy's. So I go in Murphy's. First of all, let me tell you. Let me tell you how I ended up loving Murphy's. You know that little uh, that little bar in West Wego? They got like it looked like a little prison. They got like a little prison theme to it. I know what you're talking about. Don't know right next to the car wash. Right, mm-hmm. right next to the car wash. Do- right next, they got the dollar store. They got the car wash, and then they got no, on that side. What you're talking about. Yup. I walked in there. It was me and three other black women. We walked in there. I said, I said, what a bitch. Go ahead. And I walked in there, 
And my goal was that night I had a fucked up week and I was like, you know what? It's the weekend. I'm off the next day. I'm going to get fucked up. I'm spending almost $200 on drinks. And it was just like, oh yeah? Well, we going we gonna to match that energy. So we going blow hella money on drinks. We good, we getting that ball. Why the lady looked at my ID and told me it looked fake? Mm. Cause she never seen a signature on the fucking ID. I had to tell her. I said, so you mean to tell me? In the city of West Wego, I'ma come into a bar with a fake ID? I said, you, do I not look old enough? She gonna tell me, I don't know if I can take your ID. So she goes and brings it to the owner. He was sitting down at the end. And the owner looked at the ID first. And then she was just like, well, he said, who it is? And then he looked at me and see this black dude with dread standing at the end of the bar. He was just like, tell him we can't take it. I said, y'all serious? I said, what? Like, y'all y'all dead ass. She said, yeah. I said, here, look at my driver's license. Ah, oh, we already said you can't. We already said we can't take it. Bitch, I'm showing you two different forms of fucking ID. I said, you know what? I'm going to just let y'all know. I got a big fan base on Facebook. I got a big fan base on Instagram. I'm definitely blasting y'all racist ass. We not racist. Y'all racist as fuck. And I said, I'm going to make sure nobody come here. So we went to Murphy's. Nobody, we went to Murphy's. And the lady, the bartenders at Murphy's, they don't care how long it's been since you've been there. They will remember you. I walked in there. They say, hey, it's been a long time. They said, you doing it again? I said, you already know. And then the people who was with me, they was like, what you talking about? I said, I, I got this thing where I go to Murphy's and I just tell the lady to just make me random shots all night. Just make me random shots all night. And she would just make it random shots all night. It, it would be shots after shots. It got to the point where she would only charge me for half of the shots I drunk that night. Yeah, nigga, yeah, you right. So, to watch I, think, you. I think I, I think I know why they turned you down. Cause remember, I, I don't know if it was that long ago, but remember how we went to go do the stuff to go uh, work at the plant, and you had to. Oh, I shaved my beard. This and you shaved before. your beard, and you look uh-huh. like Danny Glover. Nah, <laughs> I was pissed myself. <laughs> First of all, it wasn't Danny Glover. Man, you was actually was looking Danny like Glover, Lethal Weapon, though. It was Samuel L. Jackson. First, that's of all. even worse. That ain't no fucking better, motherfucker. No, fuck. Samuel L. Jackson. I shaved my beard and my mustache. I, I got a picture, and I looked at this like man. Uh, I was yeah. hell. Man, this was before I had to shave my beard. Look at like Nick Fury, I just. Hey, Tony did not look right, bro. He did not look right with his beard and everything going. It was something I had to get used to. It was something I had to get used to because I was like, oh hell no, at first. But you know, it was already too late. I had already shaved my shit off to go work in the plant. But look, nah, just the take. Fuck no! But to take that part, like that little racist part that happened, when when I asked y'all earlier, have any of y'all experienced racism lately? And yeah, Pretty no, Face was, was no, I no, I got that, I got that. No, I, re, I remember you saying that, and I, that's how I knew it wasn't lately. But I was t- Pretty Face had said no, and I was like, stop, because she that has restaurant. that fucking restaurant. Uh huh. Yeah. That fucking yeah. restaurant. I remember. Oh, um, so we went to Tacos and Beer, and, um, we were standing by the podium, you know, waiting for one of the waiters or whatever to come. Like, like, everybody just kept, like, looking at me walking past, I was like, okay, okay, so maybe, you know, they're gonna come back, and I'm just looking around, I'm like, okay, yeah, so they still looking. So I was like, well, um, we're trying to sit, so the, the waitress came up, she was like, uh, how many? Two, okay, bet. So, go to sit down, I already kind of know what I want on the menu. And I noticed nobody never came, got the drink, and I was like, well, maybe they short staff, okay. So six white Beckys, Jessica's, Adeline's, Addie's, Maddie's, come sit down, and a waitress come out of the blue, and, like, she's Wait. taking their orders out. I, like, I'm raising my hand, because I'm like, okay, I know you see me, I see you, so I'm like, okay, let me get up. So I went, tap the lady on her shoulder, that's my messy thing, like, before... I do what I do, go and tap you on your shoulder. I said, excuse me, um, I've been sitting here like 15 minutes. I haven't even ordered a drink. And she was like, I'm not your waiter. I was like, I don't care who's the waiter. Uh, I just want to order my drinks. 
and she said something, but I couldn't quite catch she it. She said like, she need to go verify. Go oh, yeah, she need to verify. What? That's she what I said. So when she finally came to the table, she took our drinks. I was like, I went to order my foods. I was like, do you want something? He was like, no. So I'm like, okay, I still order my food, but the vibe ain't right. So I was like, you want to leave? But what made me mad was I was looking at my Facebook memories literally yesterday and my classmate talked about this restaurant in 2020 this exact same restaurant she talked about it being racist and I was like oh I just went here but I didn't realize that was way 2020 that something happened with her and I really wanted to eat because they had some little black bitches I mean black females came out the same restaurant the night that night other was like oh yeah the food is good so I was like okay so the food good whatever so I'm just trying to figure out I don't know, maybe they had a rough night. I was like, well, maybe it got to be a different crew. And I was like, yeah, no, I don't know if I'm going to fucking eat here because I don't, I don't like racism. When I walked in the door, I felt that shit. When we got up there, we stood there, all right? We fucking fuck sitting down for 15 minutes. We fucking stood there for damn near five, 10 minutes. And I know they looked dead at us a couple fucking times. And then somebody walked up and was like, oh, I'm going to sit you down and just sit here. And I was like, what the fuck? So then we sitting there. Like she said, we had to sit there for however fucking long and all the fucking people came and all, you know, everything she said. But see, when she said she wanted the order, because I, I was already like, I was ready to go. And she was like, no, I, you know, I said, I just want to try the food. We already came here, boom. Because it's on fucking St. Charles. You know, you got to fucking park and walk and all the other shit. So, all right, cool. You know, we, we're ordered. So she come up to the table to get the drinks. And I just, man, I'm telling you, the energy I'm feeling and I'm looking around, I'm just I, like, I'm getting more fucking mad as I'm sitting down, just really peeping it out. So she she looking at the menu, she picking and she was like, you know, she said, baby, I said, I don't want anything. You want a water or something? Nah, I'm straight. She's like, okay, well, I'm going to have this. And I was like, I was like, this is not about to fucking go well. Because I'm sitting there and, like I said, when I'm quiet, yeah, you shouldn't trust me. If she wasn't sitting where she was sitting, I was going to flip that fucking table. I had, I said, look, something on TV. And she came sat next to me. See when she came sat next to me? She was like, babe, you ready to go? Because that's when I was by. I was like, yeah, yeah, it's best we just leave. Because <laughs> I was fucking getting mad. Cause like I seen the play from when we walked in the door and I ain't like that shit. And then when you went over there and asked her, she you know, she came back and she was like, Yeah, she said she had to go verify. And I'm sitting and I'm looking at her and I'm like, Face, she gotta go verify what? And she was like, I don't know, babe. She said she just gotta go verif- verify. I don't know what the fuck she's talking about either. I was like I was like, nah, yeah, all, right. all the Beckys and stuff that that went in there. I'm talking about verified the fuck out of them hoes as soon as they walked in. And like, all right, so like we crack jokes and shit. That's why I said, you know, we could talk about this dark skin, light skin shit because we crack jokes all the time. I I might not fucking look black, but bitch, I don't look white. I've been fucking called Mexican. I've been fucking called. called. I'm trying to fucking tell you. I've been called fucking Puerto Rican. I've been called. Like, yeah, I've been called a lot of different shit. White is not on that fucking lineup unless somebody trying to fuck with me because they know I don't like that shit. And it's not that uh, I have anything against, you know, fucking white folk. Uh, I, you know, I got fucking white family. It is what it is, but I'm not. That's not what the fuck I am. The sad part is, though, I'm so fucking light. Like, all my fucking siblings are down there, all y'all color. All three of y'all. I'm, I'm like the black sheep and the lightest motherfucker. The lightest in the house. Yeah, I, know. I walk That's in the right, room, I'm, the I'm whole the, the whole room light up. Yeah, because I know the whole. I know the whole um, That's what I'm saying. Identifying as you know how so they, they got some people. Nah, I don't, know, some, I don't even like. Go ahead. They got, <laughs> so they got white people that say uh, I feel like I'm black, so I identify as black. They got some people that say you know they something. Well, they got this new thing where they say the LGBTQ uh, some, plus community started that shit. Yeah, yeah well, well yeah but there's this now this thing like completely healthy people like ever since birth completely healthy want to identify as cripples so like one dude <laughs> his arm off. i'm sorry dog wait let me laugh wait, yeah, wait. Yeah, he, 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 yeah what one dude ended up cutting his arm off so he can identify as a cripple because he always felt like he was a cripple. no you serious i'm serious what color is he white i don't know i don't know Oh wait, I'm sorry. I was on the wrong conversation. 
<laughs> but it's, it's 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 crazy how people starting to say I identify as this and I identify as that, which is crazy. So I that's mean, why when you said identify, that's why I was like, yeah, nah, I ain't with that shit. I'm, I I am what the fuck I am. Ain't no I identify shit. Yeah. <laughs> this is my DNA. Fuck all that. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. You you mix and everything like, but they got people that saying, "Hey, I identify as yo know, black. I identify as a girl. I divide as him, her. I do, I identify right. as a dog. I as a cat. You know, they got people yeah, that identify." All right, so all since we things. since we talk about identifications and shit like that, I'm I'm gonna hit right with we still on the same what you're saying, and yeah, then you yeah. call me mixed. So like. I wanted to bring that up. You called me mix, so it's like, should mix be its own fucking race? Like, do light skins need their no. own damn race? Because the black, hold on, ain't no no. Because the black people don't fucking want us. The fucking white people don't fucking want us. So is is we our own fucking race? Is we just light skins? Should we put no, other y'all just white light y'all just mix. Let me let me tell you something. Y'all just mix. And the white people realize y'all less, have less melanated. Type, That's what we need to put on there. Less melanated. They disown y'all. That's just like what mulatto. Mulatto named herself mulatto because she's she's mixed. But who, like, who disowned in her? Song, like in her song, she say, "I'm too black for the white folks." But she's mixed. Her mother is white. Yeah, her daddy is no, black. right. But that's but that goes the same on the other end. Don't leave out the other part. I'm too fucking black for the white folk, but I'm too light for the. You know what I'm saying? So so this this is how I th- I think it is. It's like. They be like, once they get I'm too black for can't... white, but I'm too light for black. Go ahead, I'm sorry. Yeah, so, yeah, so, so what she saying though? She that no, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm telling you. That's what I'm saying. All she said was she too black for the white folks. But and I think I'm it's saying I'm too fucking light for the black. Yeah, and I think it's different. I think it's just once they get to the point where they can't control you, you're a nigga. But once they get to a point where they can, you you accept it with with the the Caucasians and shit like that. You see what I mean? It's all no, about I, matter control. I agree. No, I I agree with that. I agree with that. But you also know, like it was a rift put into fucking play way back in slavery, and that's only because yeah. Uh, so you know, the white man would you know rape the black woman, have the baby, and shit like that, and. You know, the light skinned uh, child would get, you know, different privileges than the, the you know, the darker skinned people that it, the, the child came from. So, yeah. but as the child got older, the dad, the father would sometimes emancipate the, the child and give it his freedom. So, because of that, you know what I'm saying? Now, they're looking at it like, well, look at this nigga child. Get you a half black baby and you was free. And you just gonna leave us like this to go live with them white folk? Because you was one of them. You was not one of us. You was one of them. And this motherfucker don't know no damn better because you getting your ass beat. Master let me come inside and chill in the air conditioning shit in the windows and smell the flowers while they picked yeah, I might clean master toilet, but at least I got a toilet. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Like, they created that rift way back when, and it's still fucking playing on generations later. Light skin versus dark. It's like, it's like the... It's like everything that they put into place for fucking slavery is still winning. It's, it's still going on. There's nobody breaking the fucking cycle. It's like it's still going, and nobody and wants to talk about it. And when it's talked about, it's like, oh no, it's not like that. Fuck, you ain't light skinned motherfucker. How you gonna tell me what the so fuck I, is I like think, being light skinned? So if you go back, you know, it's 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 all about to the people who don't have anything. If if I was to have like a mixed baby or something, and I started giving them stuff, right? And that they'll try to start seeming like, oh, oh, like they're better than the rest of, like the rest of the people. Rather you have black, half white, but people start seeing that. But now, <clears throat> now you got to go ahead and you got to worry about everybody, like saying, oh yeah, because you're getting treated different. Uh, you were part of them because you know you getting all this and you getting all of that, you know. But meanwhile, everybody else hating on you. You know, because they didn't oh, got they, it. But they they do that to dark skins. Like they, they, that don't matter. Light skins get it all the time. But it, it all right. Say 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 uh say you go do something, Jangle, and you you know you got you got a a Caucasian friend. You know what I'm saying? And and whatever he said, like some of your black friends or you know black black constituents 
would disagree with, but you would agree with your white partner, your Caucasian partner. You're like, yeah, you know, nah, he fucking right. That's right. Oh, you're a fucking Uncle Tom now. You know what I'm saying? So now you, you know, the shit is, is still go on. Like, they're going to blast you. They're going to fucking call you out. You know what I'm saying? Call you names, Uncle Tom, you know. Um, not not you, you, you about to be as nigga, you know what I'm saying? The shit like you know, just a little shit to fuck with you. But light skins, nigga, get that all the time. Bitches, the motherfuckers always remind me of how, how how much less melanin I have in my fucking skin, or how much of it I do have in my skin. You know what I'm saying? Like like you said though, if my attitude is proper, you know what I'm saying? Sam, Sam at work, and I hate to use work, but it, it's true. If my attitude's proper and I'm in, you know, <clears throat> I'm cool, I'm in line, really, if I'm not talking, that's really what it is. If I'm quiet, if I'm not talking and I'm quiet, because look at me, you know, I don't have that much fucking melanin in my skin, so if I'm quiet, I'm easy on the eyes. You know what I'm saying? I'm easy on the eyes. But as soon as I fucking start talking, you hear me? You hear how the fuck the way I talk? You hear how I run my mouth? All right? I ain't... I mean, I can talk educated if I, ha- I absolutely have to, but you got to fuck I talk. You know what I'm saying? So if I start talking, then I'm a problem because I don't talk low. I talk loud. And then we're in a place that's, you know, kind of like a warehouse. So depending on where I'm standing, my fucking voice will carry. So it sounds like, and I'm not, and I don't have to be arguing. I just talk loud. I can be back there telling a joke. I tell jokes all the fucking time. So if I'm back there telling a the joke, oh my God, dude. You know, they real loud and real obnoxious there and they, they talking ghetto. I ain't fucking talking ghetto, I'm just talking loud, motherfucker. So this you know, talking loud can you know means I'm talking loud. You, you know you know what grinds my gears, really though? I don't think Whenever we should you say want... what grinds my gears. That's that white man talk. I think we should say what curls my what curls my edges, nigga. You know what curls my edges? Yeah, so but then but think about this though. Like whenever whenever they see you whenever they see so whenever they see and and highly Jamie. educated African American male that talks the correct English, but also not talk English. hood. Yeah, well, yeah, that's yeah, my Paul. You know that they use that. You know that that's whenever they find somebody who's really educated, right? That's when everybody else who don't have a higher edu- like the uh, as equal. What am I say? Each actually educational like standard or whatever or educational level, they want to look down on you because you took in you you absorb more education than them. And I say, I mean, that don't change nothing. That don't that don't change the type of person you is. If I have to, if I have to speak, you know, English properly, yeah, you know I'm saying, and you know, subject, you know, predicate, the whole fucking sentence, and you know, who or not, then. That's what's necessary. Sometimes I, I fucking overdo it, you know. Even even when I write, cause you know I write contracts, um, I write briefings. I do a, you know a lot of writing. I'm actually writing a book, so I do a lot you of writing. Nigga. But but yeah, and it's like it's because my damn dad's an educated nigga. But like, <laughs> but uh, but, but people want to talk down on the people that's educated. You see what I mean? Right. They want to talk, but instead of like, but my, you know, but my like, grandfather like is an educated owner. black man. It's it's different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he has a doctrine, uh, a few masters, a, a bachelor's. He, he has many degrees. Like he's an educated black man, and I'm not taking anything away from my dad, but I don't see my grandfather ever getting hood. Nigga, I done seen my fucking paw turn all the way out. <laughs> I'm talking about nigga. I didn't even know that was in you. <laughs> like, so, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm talking about young though. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's still out. You know, he might be knocking on. You know, the age he's knocking on, and may see many years. But nah, fuck that. That's a man. Hell no. I got in trouble one time for calling that nigga crazy. Call that. I'm trying to tell you. But my grandfather, and it's, it is a difference though. You're right. You're right, Django. It is a difference. Because, like I said, my grandfather I see as an educated black man. And my dad I look at as an educated N word. Because he's smart as fuck. He got his degrees too. He ain't sitting on one degree or no shit like that. 
Like, you know what I'm saying? He's successful, but fucking right. <laughs> you know, a hood and he a Christian. Listen, you you could get a whole lot in 30 minutes of a conversation with him. You know what I'm saying? I swear. And if you're not on that level of where he's at, like, you'll miss it. You'll just... You be, I've seen people They just stand there And nod their head Cause they don't know What the fuck he t- <laughs> you know, bro, Most of the people That you have conversation with And you got a, a Higher educational level You can actually tell From the look on their face That they don't know What's going on They disagreeing With the fake laugh The fake smile the, Fucking just, right just, just, It's all the right though like, and stuff like that You can exactly. tell Exactly yeah. Exactly. Like it, it's it's not genuine, but you can see behind that is a little a little bit of a hate and like oh man this man think he some hot shit you know or he think oh because he he did see that you know but all right deep now nah, you could tell you could tell now nah, you could tell they hating you definitely could tell you can hey, see that I mannerism had, I had a I had a buddy like I was just like you saying we having a conversation and get the head nod and everything and he was just. Like, I don't know what the fuck it is. Like, it was just vomited out of his mouth, man. You know, I envy you. I said, what the fuck? <laughs> that same night, I wound up slapping the fuck out of him. I don't... <laughs> it was a long story. <laughs> I told that man something. That man told me. He said, man, I slapped the back of your neck. I said, dog, don't touch me. That's all I'm telling you. He, and he, he slapped the back of my neck, but I don't know what kind of shit he was on. <laughs> but I back at the fuck. I had to get my watch. <laughs> Nigga, it flew across the bus. <laughs> Slapped him so fucking hard. Man, you must you must have smacked this man hard as shit. I did. I slapped him so hard he didn't even know what the fuck he do. <laughs> he just stood there and just. <laughs> I wouldn't have stood there. Uh, <laughs> he ain't no fucking thought process. I mean, I'm like, sorry to laugh so fucking hard, but like, like, like I'm telling y'all, I was drunk. I was fucking drunk, but I remember it, and I was like, I was leaning on the, you know, when you walk into the lobby of a hotel, but it's like, when I say a lobby, it's really a little room to a window. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? To the window. Yeah, right to the wall. That was it. That was really that was it. So I'm leaning on the counter that's in front of the window. I'm fucking drunk. I'm leaning on it. And we having a conversation about something. And this was the same fucking night he was oh, this it was about that Indian shit. And I was like, dog, that shit just don't make no sense or something. And he was like, Man, well fuck me, I just slapped the back of your neck. I said, Dog, I wouldn't do that. I was <laughs> and I'm still my hands leaned on the counter and all of a sudden I felt and nigga, it was, I didn't even think twice. My arm was all the way, yeah. <laughs> man, pick my motherfucking watch up. <laughs> I had him pick my fucking watch up. Man, Damn, fuck that must just been a, a, a reaction to stupidity. It, man, it, listen, all I know was in my mind, I had already thought. You know how you have that thought that mind. you're going to do something if something, you know, we got the reaction to the action. You already yeah. have the reaction to the action. So, in, whenever I say I'm going to do something in my mind, I visually have done it. I've looked at people and said, man, listen, I've already fucked you up once. And hey, never had a fight with them. But I'll about. fuck you up again if I have to. <laughs> visually, in my mind, I fucked you up. I already know how this is about to play out. But physically, I'll fuck you up again if this really what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? And I've had times where the, the fight did not go as I visualed it, but it was still a good fight. You know what I'm saying? Fuck. <laughs> you know? Yeah, but, yeah. but all I'm saying is is that already in my mind, I slapped the fuck out of him if he touched me. And then he fucking touched me. I told him not to do it. It wasn't like he wasn't warned. Uh, I gave you fair fucking warning. And he was DW. I, I guess. I told you not to touch. It. <laughs> Listen, that's my thing. If 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 I know, like it's it's a hostile situation. Like even if y'all with me on my side, like y'all just nobody touch me. Just because like soon as you touch me, I'm gonna react to being touched. I'm gonna swing towards the way. Like we was fucking playing GTA the other night. X Bay. I was playing GTA I'm in a role play server, and dude had pointed at me and I snuck him. I see he said, "What the fuck?" I said, "Dog, my bad. My finger slipped because his mouse and keyboard, but my finger really had slipped." And then the other dude, yeah, no, seriously, the other because I so you know it has to do push to talk when you play in role play servers. You have to have push to talk. So my push 
to talk key bind is on my mouse it's my uh my number four key on my mouse so when i went to hit the four key my finger slipped and hit the, the punch key so the other dude was like man hey uh, my name's Marcel on that. He was like, Marcel, you a snitch? And I was like, I went to hit the key. I went to hit the key by and to say, no, I'm not a snitch. And it snuck him. And I was just like, no, I ain't no snitch. I had to stay in character. Cause I can't be like, oh, my bad. My finger slipped. You know what I'm saying? I got to stay in character. So whenever yeah. I did hit the key, I was like, I ain't, I ain't no fucking snitch. But when I let the key by go, dog, I was dying laughing. Dog. I was like, that shit funny as fuck. But. But yeah, not like, like this, it's your fucking hands off. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like that though. Like you know, what I'm saying I, I I took my parents put me through martial arts and all the other shit. But as an adult, I took other training and shit. So like, and I'm real fucking touchy about being touched. Just don't fucking touch me. That's that's it. Just don't touch me. I've been like that since I was a kid. Just don't like everybody got their thing. You know, everybody got their thing, you know what I'm saying? When I'm fucking mad or I'm real overly emotional, somebody died close to me, something like that, you know, I'm overly emotional. Don't fucking touch me. I'm fucking liable to just hit you. Just And then yeah, that's 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 I always have to say that. I told you not to touch me. I'm always having fuck, bro. Why? I don't, you know what I'm saying? It's not never an apology, it's like I told you. Why am I apologizing yeah, after I told you? And see, and you all right? Yeah, I'm about to dip out. You, you all right? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. How I long has Krilla been here? He been in here. He yeah. just been in here. ain't saying nothing. Why does man sound like he Nah, I was just mad. Nigga say you good, Tom. Yeah, I'm good. You... I'm good. You got a gig. You know that's T's a T. Oh, yeah. T's a T. Bro, y'all wildin'. I'm saying... No, I'm good. I'm good. Well, look, you you know we so, got you, bro. Tuesdays, you, you gotta book some gigs. Teaser Tuesdays. Teaser Tuesdays. <laughs> what is that consistent? Is, is, is that what we calling it on? Teaser Tuesday. What? 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 Teaser T yeah. Tuesdays. Yep. Teaser All right, y'all. Yeah. It was fun talking about it, but I'm gonna go ahead and sign out on y'all on that note because y'all wallet. <laughs> All right, Teaser T. T's a T. Hit us up, bro. Dre, don't make me tell that story. Or maybe I, I might have enough time to tell them two stories. Hey, you trying, look, hey, you trying see, to look, We gonna start episode. it off next week with the stories. All right, we gonna start. We gonna start off embarrassing yes. stories. That's the next podcast. Oh, I'm about that. All right, well, listen, well, at, on that note, then we all can sign out, man. This has truly been, you know, great hell. It's been a great episode, man. I appreciate Teaser T. I mean, Dark Mask. Appreciate you being in here with us. <laughs> Pretty face, man. I, you know, gotta love her, man. She's she's great. And Django. Django, man. Django sweats from his thoughts, y'all. Django sweats from his I was thinking about thoughts. white chicks. I'm sorry. But <laughs> <laughs> And Skrilla, Skrilla, you ain't you ain't on the block no more, bro. <laughs> All right, y'all, it's been great. Y'all check us out. Leave us a review uh, down in the bottom or wherever you can leave a review for it. It gets our ratings up so more people see our shows and can listen to us just like you do. We appreciate you tuning in every week on Monday to check us out. It's been great. Y'all stay true. We out. Yeah. We out here. Stay positive. Do your, do your peace sign. Peace.